as a part of my video assignment for the film studies paper i prajul of second ma will be interviewing disha c shetty an amateur yakshagana artist from mangalore born in 1998 disha grew up in the coastal town in a family of yakshagana stars starting out as a young protege she rose to prominence due to her style and charm disha is currently working as a hr in a bangalore firm and is still pursuing her fa- passion for yakshagana let us see what she has to say about the art form uh for the rest of the world you know they can always access art through various uh, social media and other uh, technologically produ- provided platforms but for me uh, you know to know art is to feel art uh, just other than you know googling researching about an art uh, it's more uh, of a beautiful experience to be in touch and be in direct contact and involved in art so when it comes to me and when i speak about yakshagana it's not a just a traditional theater uh, it has been everything to me because it's a combination of oratory artistry uh, uh, mythological knowledge it's been uh, uh, having a shade of little bit of uh, athleticism stamina and then lastly music and instruments so it's a combination of everything unlike uh, many other art forms which are concentrated only various aspects of uh, the fields of uh, art domain uh, i can say yakshagana is a god of art it has everything it, in it because there is nothing that is left out and for the kind of contribution into my personality building that this art form has given i think i am very much pleased and very much uh, blessed being a mangalorean mm-hmm. being a fellow mangalorean mm-hmm. how has the city okay. supported your growth in yakshagana well if for an artist um being born as an artist born as a yakshagana artist in mangalore is a dream so yeah. i was quite gifted because right from the uh, you know infancy level when i was actually just a small toddler in the field of yakshagana which i am still See. but uh, i believe um, Mangalore has always been nurturing me as an artist because people there were always people you know to come and encourage me clap for me uh, and always you know <clears throat> to give me more platforms to kind of st- uh, share and restore my art so i have done all all the things that i was capable of as of now uh, my contribution towards restoration and also the spread of this art form being uh, mere regional as of now but yeah i have done my bit i believe what are your aspirations regarding yakshagana as in your future in this art form what would you like to give back to this art form that has given you so much uh well disha shetty as an artist uh, my life or my artist life is an exemplary for how you can smartly link technology uh, social media and art form so because uh, the uh, time when i entered into this field of yakshagana as a uh, amateur artist there were a lot of my uh, friends who were photographers and videographers so they the way they captured me you know in action on stage and the way they helped me reach wider audiences who were not actually you know uh, who didn't have the opportunity to uh, look at me perform live and that made a whole lot of difference because i was able to reach so many people uh, in and around karnataka who fell in love i can say it's not that i'm exaggerating but i i i am the receiver of that much love for what i have been doing in this art form so uh, i feel i don't know if i look good in that appearance as lord krishna or uh, yet another role which is very heroic and you know, energetic in uh, mythological stories but i have op- been often used in various posters flexes and uh, uh, book covers etc well i am really humbled and overwhelmed i guess i mean i love the kind of uh, love and attention that i'm receiving as of now what are the challenges that you have faced in yakshagana and what are the challenges that yakshagana has faced as an art form in uh, growing digital age uh the thing is uh, the biggest challenge that i have faced or i can say my entire family being artists uh, have faced is that there are two kinds of artists uh, professional artists the ones who earn their bread through yakshagana and amateur artists who just treat yakshagana as their passion and hobby so when people get uh, you know got re- you know got into too much of a mature yakshagana artist and they really liked what we are giving uh, they started switching their programs and shows to us and now what happens is there is a small friction between the amateur artist and the professional artist so we ourselves felt guilty thinking that okay we are entering a field where there are people who are actually filling their stomach 
through performances but we don't actually need the stages just to you know uh, kind of uh, we just do it for relief and uh, recreation so there was a little bit of friction and we were always in doubt so as to are we snatching their bread or something like that so that is one of the biggest uh, Uh, questions and confusion that we right now also uh, you know come across because even if there are professional artists four to five professional artists on stage they make sure that they call two to three amateur artists like us so yet again they feel okay why them we do the same thing that they do but why them that question is always there in the minds of professional artists so that is one uh, second thing that the art is facing thing is people are not understanding the value of yakshagana the originality is vanishing the respect is vanishing they treat yakshagana as very lightly uh, they like kids today well i i don't uh, complain about it but every parent wants to see uh, her kid uh, in a yakshagana attire but um, you know we are artists who devote lot of our time in learning talas the background and the everything but when we see kids you know coming on to stage wearing the yakshagana attire just like that very uh, carelessly and uh, not in proper form it hurts to see that because there is a, there is some kind of respect and value for this art form and that we are supposed to you know give that kind of uh, respect to it so when somebody you know kind of violates that we feel really hurt we cannot go and tell them that okay don't do this don't do that because they might not be having that amount of time that we could give to yakshagana but i feel it's time that people start respecting the originality and the source or the origin of this art form and only then get into it so i see so many people using yakshagana you know in movies and in commercial advertisements etc and i am not happy with that where do you find time to be yourself among the multiple endeavors that you are taking part in uh, well i am always myself there is no time that i am not myself i don't do something that i don't like maybe now if i'm interested uh, in music but i don't like cleaning i make sure that i make cleaning interesting that is it put on my earphones and do the cleaning that's how you smartly combine things you like and you don't like together so that you are yourself you're enjoying what you're doing so the this is the small mantra that i've been following from a really young age uh, till today so i usually didn't like academics but uh, my mom made sure that only if i excel in academics she would let me perform yakshagana so again bingo just because i had to perform yakshagana i made sure that i excelled in yakshag i mean in uh, academics so that's how you you know relate and uh, correlate each and everything to make it more uh, you know likable so there is nothing that you need to escape from or there is nothing that you need to pretend to like so if you like it you need to find a way so with that thank you disha thank you for spending your time with me and helping me with my assignment you're welcome so i'll see you around